Hey guys, Steve Good here with the Scroll Saw Workshop. The other day I posted a pattern for this uh, layered music art piece. Uh, you see these all over the web right now. They're really popular in the uh, laser cutting forms and of course in our case we're cutting them with a scroll saw. Uh, after I posted this pattern I uh, had several requests for people who wanted to know how to create their own patterns like this in CorelDRAW. And um, like everything else, there's always more than one way to accomplish something. Uh, but I would show you how I did it, and then if you can find an easier way, that's fine. Let me get rid of some of this. And this will be the pattern that we're going to use to make the layer design from. Uh, so I'm going to make a copy of it and put it in the center of the uh, page. And then I'm going to put a frame around it. And in this case, I've got an 8 by 10 box. And I want to make a quarter inch frame. So I'm going to go over here to my contour tool. I'm going to go to up here, type in a dimension of 0.5, and click Inside Contour. And then I'm going to go over here to Object, Break Group Apart, select my Pick Tool, Back Minus Front and there I've got my frame. And I know I went through that really quick and if you're not uh, familiar with CorelDRAW and how I just did that, uh, just rewind the video and watch it a few times and uh, you'll get it. I don't want to try to make this tutorial on how to use CorelDRAW as much as the technique for making these layered designs. So that's why I went through that so fast. Now I'm going to select both of these objects and I'm going to weld them together so now you can see they're they're welded as one piece and that is basically the top layer of our pattern we're going to make and in this case we're only going to do four layers uh, but obviously depending on your design you could do as many layers as as you wanted so I'm gonna right click on this and make a copy of it and just put it over here to the side we're going to use that as our top layer while we're at it, we know we need an 8x10 backer board that's solid. Uh, so I just made another copy and I'm going to uh, break that apart. Or you could just draw another 8x10 box. And that will be our back layer right there. And we'll also use that layer for another feature here in a minute. So now we need to get layer number 2. We've got our copy of layer number 1 right here. I'm going to select it. I'm going to go back over to my contour tour and I'm going to turn this from 0.5 back down to 0.1, one tenth of an inch. And I'm going to hit the outside contour. And you can see that created a contour around our original layer. I'm going to go up to, with everything still selected, I'm going to go up to Object, Break Group Apart. And that will break that contour in the original layer into two pieces. We can then select the original piece and there's our backer piece. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to turn this to gray to match the other pattern and I'm going to set that aside. That's going to be layer number two. Not quite finished with layer number two yet, uh, but for right now that's it. Make a copy of layer number two, put it back in the middle. I'm going to select the contour tour, 0.1 inch again, contour to the outside, object, break group apart. We can get rid of our waste over here. This is our third layer. I'm going to make it gray with a black outline. So now we have our four layers. First layer, second layer, third layer, and background. The problem we've got, let me bring the a copy of the original layer back over here and a copy of the third layer. And you'll be able to see if I line these up that our third layer is wider because we contoured on the outside we actually contoured around the frame also so we need to get this uh, second and third layer back down to the correct size uh, without changing the, the uh, size of the inside of the pattern so we can't just resize this down to 8 by 10 or we'll mess up the inside so what I do let me get rid of this and get rid of this I'm going to take uh, layer number three. I'm going to put it in the center of the page. I'm then going to take a copy of my backer board, put it in the center of the page, and you can see the backer is the inside and the, the uh, layer three is the outside. I'm just going to do a trick here. I'm going to take my Smart Fill tool, click in the gap between the sizes that we, the uh, backer board and the layer three. 
we can then move our backer board out of the way and you can see we've got this ring around our third layer select all those do back minus front and we just erased everything around that layer so kind of a trick and you can see now we've got the correct width so that's our layer number three back to the correct size repeat the process with layer number two again let's use our smart fill tool and I'm getting in here real close so you can see it I'm going to take my pointer and click in there and it'll smart fill around the uh, the uh, backer board then we can select all front minus back now our layer number two is the correct size so now we can start stacking these up I'm going to make copies of them and we're going to put this in the middle put this one in the middle and bring it to the front put this one in the middle bring it to the front put this one in the middle and make sure it's the back layer so now if we zoom in here you can see we've got our four layers the fourth layer being the backer board and I will resize these put everything back in the center of the page and I'll take some simulated wood here and again I'm not trying to make this part of the tutorial so you will need some experience in CorelDRAW to do this I'm going to make multiple copies of this wood I want to paste one into the background, one into there, one into the second layer or first layer, and one into the second layer. And now if I go up here and add a simulated shadow to this, you'll get an idea of what we've got. So there is our layered art design uh, done in Corel Draw in just a matter of a few minutes. Now, like I said, there's multiple ways of doing everything in Corel Draw. This is just how I did it because it's the style that I work in. If you have other ways of doing this, you know, by all means, use whatever works for you. Uh, but there's just a quick tutorial on how to make some of these layered art patterns. I'm Steve Good. Thanks for being here with me at the Scroll Saw Workshop. Catch you next time.